Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be uh, episode one for uh, Claire B. Trying to get some stuff recorded. We are rearranging our house a bit. As you can see behind me, empty closet in here. It's because we're moving the office into the other room. But uh, without further ado, let's get started. In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. I already moved the heater into the other room, so it is very cold in here. <sighs> I'm finally here. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. God, he's such a badass in this game. There. Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Head to the 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Trying to figure out uh, if I could block that light from doing that at the top of the screen or at the top of the camera, but I don't think it's going to be possible in here. I won't have that issue in the in the new room once we get it set up, but. I was trying to... Oh, are you kidding me? I was trying to get around him. That didn't work. But, uh, yeah. Once, uh... Uh, what's this way? Uh, we'll try our luck this way. But yeah, once uh, once I'm done recording and oh, and editing, um, I have to break my whole desk down, and then uh, be moving it into the other room where our new office is gonna be. So yeah, I'm trying to get uh, trying to get some recording done right now. That way, I actually have something to upload for you guys. So we're just on the, uh, that didn't sound good. So we're, we just came in the back door, basically. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and I apologize, my cat's probably gonna, probably gonna mess some stuff up for me, as usual. Because he didn't want to be locked outside. I locked him outside of the door, and he, uh... No, no, no. Hey, get over here! Hurry! I can't sit her down. I'll drop you a rope ladder. Grab onto it. Come on. Just a little more. Get off me! Stay back! Don't come any closer! So I locked my cat out of, uh, oh, yeah, of course he's gonna make a ton of noise in the background. Locked him out of the room, and, uh, he sat there literally, uh, just at the door pawing at the bottom of the door and crying, so I let him in, because I looked over at my mic levels and saw that every time he was, uh, whining, my mic level shot through the roof, so. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. So for the B scenario, there is some stuff I vaguely remember from, you know, a long time ago when I played it. A couple of the items, I kind of remember where they are, I think. Because it's, uh, from what I remember, it's like the exact same game, everything's just laid out, like, differently. Yep. aren't working quite how they should. It's very cold in here. It's probably like, uh, probably like in the mid to high 50s in here. Very cold. Cold for California. There we go. I didn't 
expect that. Is that like seriously? Oh, no. As much as I want to use it, no. Is that because I got an A rank, or just because I beat the uh, first scenario? Maybe someone will let me know in the comments, because I really don't know. Nice. I didn't expect that. I was gonna try to make my way to the star's office to try to get her weapon before uh, before I went outside, but that works out good too. What are you doing, dude? trying to chew on the bottom of the door. It's... No. Actually, I should have saved. You know what? I think I am going to save, actually. This morning I did start shopping for a new microphone that may be coming soon. I haven't decided yet. I have to decide if I want to spend the money on one right now. And by want to spend the money I mean of course uh, if I can afford to spend the money because yeah our dryer stopped working so might be buying a dryer. No don't eat my thumbtack. No. No. No! So I have a, uh... 
so the continuity between scenario A and scenario B is just not there. It's always bugged me. Nazi robot soldiers, <laughs> except he's not a robot. Oh, I hate that you can hear him stomping. I'm gonna try to fight him. He's kind of like Nemesis, um, every time you uh, fight him, he drops an item. That's what I was talking about during Leon's scenario, is that we're going to try to fight him anytime we can, as long as it's not going to like risk uh, risk killing us. I'm going to go out here and get some healing items. No! Trying to trill, trill, um, chew on the uh, like uh, screw bit that's sitting on the drill that we have in here for taking everything down. He's sitting there trying to chew on it because he's obsessed with chewing on metal now. This is uh, this is the first time I've owned a cat. I haven't owned them long, um, less than a year. Can someone tell me if that's normal for like cats to try? To weird audio glitches. So I hope everyone, uh, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Um, I know we did. We had a pretty good Christmas. We got to see a lot of the family. Got to eat a lot of ham. Yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm recording this the day after Christmas, so the 26th. Then it's almost 6 a.m. Basically, uh, I'm basically stuck being in this room until uh, until my fiance gets up and we can actually start moving stuff around because uh, our entire living room is filled with the contents of this room. Because she oh oh, there's two of them. Uh, 
because uh, my fiance does um, like sewing and that kind of stuff, so she had a lot of fabric and stuff like that. What are you getting into? No. I'm sorry about all the um, like interruptions with the cat, but um, if I don't let him in here, then all you're going to hear is him whining because my desk is... Oh, there's three of them in here? Anyway, because my desk is right by the door, so that's all you'll hear. I know you don't want to hear that. Because even though I think he's cute, I'm sure everyone else won't think he's cute when he's just sitting there whining in the background. You have bullets for me? No. Oh, maybe you do? Yes. Oh, only used for one door in this scenario. Okay. I'm excited to get everything moved around though, because it'll, uh gonna be a lot better for recording in there plus uh, right now um, oh, okay. right now where our bed is the uh, head of the bed is on an exterior wall and this house isn't really insulated yeah joys of uh, joys of renting an older house in a small farming community but um yeah this house isn't really insulated so it's really cold like we have to have a uh, like a comforter stapled to the wall behind the bed. Oh, yeah, my cat's coming up here, so you're gonna see him. Whoa, 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 whoa. no. That was probably a bad idea because now they're gonna be sitting right there outside the door when I come out, aren't they? Just ignore the cat. <laughs> I've got a, uh, like, uh, one of those soft, like, guitar bag cases, like the, ca like, bag kind of thing you put your guitar in. It's just a soft case is what it would be called, hanging on the wall right there, and he tried to, he was trying to, like, climb up on it, and it, you know, slid because it's just hanging. He's a good boy, though. Oh, shit. Shit. <sighs> At least it's not dogs in there or something like that. That'd be horrible. Oh, so that, um, that big, uh, white guy that we just fought in the, like, green, uh, trench coat. That is Mr. X. From my understanding, what I've read in like the uh, on like the wiki and stuff, like I've never got a clear answer. Like they don't really say it directly in the games, I don't think. Um, what uh, what he is is he's like a uh, a mass-produced tyrant, I guess, kind of thing where uh, he was sent in to get a sample of the G virus and then oh man that hurts. Uh, try to like uh help wipe uh, any witnesses out or something like that to kind of like conceal the whole uh, conceal the uh, you know umbrella's involvement in the whole incident something yesterday when we were moving stuff around and you know when you have those um it's like a scab but it's uh not raised like a scab where it's like your skin like dips in and then you have like a little like flat scab inside of that I guess it would be yeah it's one of those it fucking hurts At least my sprained wrist is healing up nice. That's a lot better being able to actually do things for myself. So 
so I came to the, the realization that, um, I'm, like, officially an adult, because, uh, well, um, I'll be 28 next month, which I know I'm an adult, kind of thing, but you know, you know how we, like, so. Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here. One kitty. Oh, this is the same one that we read when we played as Leon, I think. Yeah, this is that same one. As always. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Pause if you want to read it. Split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I think my disc might be scratched because I keep getting weird like audio glitches. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it just in case. But yeah, no. You know how when how you're an adult, but you don't feel like an adult until something like adult happens, and then you're like, oh wow, yeah, I guess I am an adult. I had one of those yesterday. <sighs> my mom got me and uh, me and my fiance some uh, ah! cookware, like some pots and pans for Christmas, Help and me! our pots and pans suck, so, <sighs> excuse me, I'm tired, so, um, yeah, it was nice, it was nice that she got them for us, but, um, I was hoping that wouldn't be like that for her. I picked it up. <laughs> she get handgun parts too on this one? No. Claire seriously gets like, uh, I don't know, not as good weapons. <sighs> I forgot to put the little uh, the cables on. But yeah, because instead of. Let's see here. Instead of the shotgun, she gets the crossbow, which. Meh. And instead of. Yeah, instead of the crossbow. She, or instead of the shotgun, she gets a crossbow. And instead of the Magnum, she gets a Grenade Launcher. Which, I mean, the Magnum, you could argue the Grenade Launcher could be better. Oh, excuse me. The Grenade Launcher could be better if it's, uh, if you load it with Acid Rounds, but as a whole, I mean, the Magnum is better. clearing him out that way I don't have to go through that other hallway again. I'll have to just come upstairs to get to this side. But I shouldn't need to get to this side too much. And actually I think with the diamond key I'm gonna eliminate the need to come to this side altogether. I think. Minus the library. Obviously. I guess I could have done the library puzzle right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am so fucked right now. No. Are you kidding me? I'm dead. Well, 
this kind of feels like a natural ending point for this episode, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, Resident Evil. Cut it here. I'll reload the save, and I'll get up to that point, and that's where I'll start the next episode. Thanks, you guys, for watching.